My name is Claude Baudouin. I'm a senior consultant for the Qatar Consortium. I'm going to present to you about the theory and the practice of agile software development. This is a topic that's been mentioned many times since a number of thinkers developed the Agile Manifesto, which has been, by the way, translated into many languages. So you can see here the Spanish version of the Agile Manifesto. I called my talk the theory and practice of Agile because what we found is that while a number of organizations have been very successful in applying the Agile model, some other organizations have been facing difficulties in applying the theory in practice and making the model work. We've now established some lessons learned about why sometimes it is difficult to apply the Agile model. One of the reasons is that people take the model as being more rigorous, more strict than it is intended to be. The other reason is, and you saw that in the slide showing the Agile Manifesto itself, the authors of the Manifesto say we prefer the things on the left to the things on the right, but that does not mean that we neglect the things on the right either. And what we find sometimes is that people say, well, the Agile Manifesto means that we should not do documents, we should not do requirements, we should not have formal agreements with our clients. Well, that's not true. That's not what the Agile Manifesto says. The Agile Manifesto says that we prefer interaction to strict contracts, but it doesn't mean that no documents are useful. So this excessive rigor or excessive obedience to the letter of the left-hand side of the manifesto is sometimes what causes projects to run into problems. We also sometimes see a view of Agile which is very technical, very methodological, it is centered on how the software development team works internally, the stand-up meetings, the scrum uh, techniques, without really understanding how this technical process needs to be part of an overall business process, a more complete and comprehensive interaction between IT and the business. And finally, sometimes we encounter myths about the costs of Agile, where people look at the extra involvement required from the end user and transform that into an extra cost without understanding the benefits that this process will bring and how that will in turn avoid some other costs. In my presentation, I will explain to you how you should really put Agile into practice if you choose to go in that direction and how you should implement an Agile methodology in a smart manner in order to derive the benefits without running into those obstacles. I'm looking forward to presenting to you. Thank you.